Okay, this is a tutorial, another UDK tutorial on uh, um, animation. Uh, in particular, this uh, this is a setup for uh, a quick bone rigged curtain animation. What we're going to do is start a, a plane in 3 Studio Max. Uh, we're going to actually set up a, a curtain instead of a flat curtain. Curtains usually got a, um, a wave or ripple modifier on it. In, in our case, we'll use a, a wave now. Uh, just keep in mind that when you're doing a wave modifier, uh, it should always have a, a lot of uh, uh, length segments or, or width segments in this case. Uh, I've got a, it's about 20, 20 segments. And with the wave modifier, you have to go into the gizmo, um, usually rotate it to make it look right in the vertical. And you can see in the realistic view, you've got a really nice wave pattern. And the more waves you have, more uh, width segments you have, the more smoother the, the curve looks, as you can see. So you want you want a basic start. But in our case, uh, we're going to keep the wave uh, pattern down a bit. So we're going to take the wave length and increase it a bit, just to keep the wave pattern down a bit, so that uh, we don't have a too too amplified of a wave. And you can adjust those settings um, as you uh, as you uh, build your uh, your rig. So first thing we got to do when we bring it into UDK is, is uh, for a, a typical curtain, uh, this one could be used on a on a, a stagecoach or a, a window. You have to rig it up um, with bones. Um, one of the easiest way to bring in rigs into uh, into UDK is uh, bones or biped uh, using the skin modifier. So what we got to do basically is lay out a series of bones and. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just do a, uh, an FK rig, uh, FK. So there's no, uh, it's, it's a simple hierarchy. Take this rig and and uh, and whoops, and uh, we'll create a rig here. And we're going to need uh, a rig uh, of bones that's that's in one of the troughs to make it easier. We'll just do a two rig, one here with this location and one here. So we're going to copy this bone rig. So I'm just going to take the copy of this rig. Uh, just uh, take, take these bones, make a copy over here. And so now I've got two bone reference rigs. The thing in when you're working with UDK, uh, you need a parent bone. So what I'm going to do in this case is just um, do some bones here. And a bone here, and just a, a root bone at the top. So basically, I've created a, a small little rig setup. And another thing you'll need to do is set up the hierarchies. So this becomes the parent bone of the curtain. Um, so I'm going to call it the bone uh, current curtain. Um, that's fine. And make sure all those bones are rigged up. Now, ideally, you should name these bones properly um, so that you have them rigged up. So now that the bones are there, um, the uh, what you've got to do is skin those properly. So what I'm going to do here is take the uh, wave. And by this time, you should have a file. Uh, I've saved a, uh, call this curtain. You should save it in case you have any issues. And then you want to collapse or right click easier here, convert to edible poly, the actual wave curtain itself. Then you want to add what's called a skin modifier on top. Add all your bones, uh, including the, the parent bone, bone curtain. So what should happen now when you go to the envelopes for each bone? Uh, in particular, these bones you have to be concerned about. This one here, this one here. That it's gathering enough of the bone information. I'll blow this up and uh, we'll go in perspective view so you can see it a little bit better in uh, shaded mode. Um, so you can see the bone influence is in red. But bone um, two, and th two and one need to influence everything and bone in this case six and uh, five no six and <coughs> and six and eight I think it is in this case let's check 
check on and off here. Uh, make sure I've got the right hierarchy. Let's get an edit envelope here. And that is so I've got so bone six and four and bone one and this bone here which is bone two so six and four and one and two in my case will influence this curt so if I go out here uh, right now with the skin modifier I should see influence in this and how it influences um, it's this root bone should actually take the whole curtain um, so I'm missing one hierarchy so I'm going to make sure this is linked to here and now this root bone should be able to drag the whole curtain there you go so now we're going to animate a bit so we're going to kind of simulate some physics behavior we could incorporate a lot better rig but I'm going to have at frame one the curtain sway a bit so frame but frame 30 have it sway a bit and say it's frame 60 approximately there um, have the entire and note I'm just animating the bones and not the entire um, not the uh, mesh itself and I don't know frame 100 just have it moving so as you can see I've got a little bit of movement happening in the in the curtains and uh, and this will help uh, bring the integration into one reel so if I hit play you can see the movement um, after I've done that I hit save I always do increments for my saving and just go plus increment 0 2 now that I export my uh, curtain go file export to a to a, an FBX so I'll call it curtain and again we're not covering texturing in this so I'm exporting just when you're exporting make sure you check baked animation on so I'm going to go into my uh, uh, package in the uh, UDK browser and open up curtain and I'm going to start a new package called uh, I don't know uh, cloth and make sure import animations is checked on and what you should see come in this new package is your your mesh itself and, and an animation set bone curtain so if you load the skeleton mesh you should see your mesh and if you go to the animation tab here pick on bone curtain which is your root object you hit play you should see your animation play and you can bring that right into unreal so you can bring that set and have it activated with uh, the uh, um, with the uh, matinee so have fun with this. Um, hope you enjoyed a quick tutorial on curtains. Thank you.